Tech Talks Education, you are welcome. Let us continue with the ordinary level chemistry, atomic structure and bonding. Uh, today we are going to discuss what we call ions. So let us look at what we call ions. I want to give you some examples of ions, then from there we shall be able to get the definition, a comprehensive definition of an ion. Look at this. This one is called sodium iron. Let me give you another one. Uh, this one here is called calcium iron. Another one, aluminium iron. Aluminium iron. More, we have the iron of oxygen. I can call this one here the oxide iron. We have got this one here, which is called the nitride iron. We have got this one which is called the hydroxide, not hydroxyl, it is hydroxide. Hydroxide ion because hydroxyl is a group which is found in organic compounds. So we refer to some hydroxyl group somewhere in organic compounds. Then we have got this one here. This one is called sulfate iron we have got this one here this one is called ammonium iron so all these are what we call ions you can see that these ions some of them consist of atoms and some of them consist of groups of atoms as you can see with these ones here so an iron can consist of atoms can consist of groups of atoms and some ions are positively charged as you can see while others are negatively charged so if we use all these, then it can lead us to what we call the definition of an iron. So, by definition, or what an iron means is that it is a charged atom or group of atoms. As simple as that. So an iron is a charged atom, this 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 is a charged atom, a charged atom, a charged group of atoms. You can see where I'm putting the number of negative charges. It is after writing all this. That means that it is for the whole of this. It is for the, the whole of OH. This one is for the whole, of, the whole of SO4. We have two negative charges. This one we have one positive charge. So all these ones are called ions. They are either charged atoms or groups of atoms. So that is what we can see from here. Now let us look at what we call types of ions. From what we have seen here, we can see that some of these ions here are positively charged while others are negatively charged. They can be positively charged atoms or group of atoms or they can be negatively charged atoms or groups of atoms. So there are two types of ions. In this case, we have the first type of ions being called the cut ions. We call them the cut ions. Sometimes you may call it cations, but I think 
it's best to call them the cut ions. In electrolysis, these are the ions that migrate to the cathode. So I can refer to them as being the cut ions, ions that migrate to the cathode during electrolysis. But we are not discussing electrolysis here. Then another type of ions are the negative ones. These ones, we, are, we call them the anions. And I say that in electrolysis, these are the ions that migrate to the anode. So let us see them one by one, starting with the cut ions. Now, when we are dealing with ions, for the sake of atomic structure and bonding, we are now not going to deal with these groups of atoms here. We are going to deal with the just charged atoms, but not charged group of atoms. In this case, when we are dealing with the, the ions. So, let us look at what we call the cations. These are positively charged atoms. Now, for the sake of a wider kind of consumption, let us say they are charged group of atoms also. So, the cations generally are the positively charged atoms or groups of atoms or groups of atoms now we have seen many examples let us continue including them here we have the lithium ion we have got the beryllium ion we have got the boron ion we have got the sodium ion we have magnesium ion we have aluminium iron, we have potassium iron, and then we have calcium iron. Among the first 20 elements. So these are positively charged atoms or group of atoms, but we are not dealing with groups of atoms. In this case, we are dealing with the positively charged atoms for the sake of the first 20 elements. So these are what we call the cut ions. Then let us also look at what we call the anions. The anions. You are, some people may call it the, the anions, but I would say we call them the anions. The ions that during electrolysis migrate to the anode. So the anions. The ions that migrate to the anode during electrolysis. But we are not here discussing electrolysis, but let us call them the anions. So these are negatively charged atoms and for other consumptions we can also say that they are the negatively charged groups of atoms these are what we call the anions now in this case, let us look at among the first 20 elements, the negatively charged atoms. We have got the, uh, we have got the cup, the ion of carbon, which is negatively charged ion. We have got nitride ion. We have got the oxide ion. We have got the fluoride ion. We have the iron of silicon. We have the phosphide iron. This one is having four negative charges. Phosphide iron with three negative charges. We have got the sulfide iron with two negative charges. We have got the chloride iron among the first 20 elements. So that is what we call the cations and these are what we call the anions. We are dealing with the single atoms, not groups of atoms in this case. So the cations are the positively charged atoms or positive atoms, and then they can also be groups of atoms, but we are not minding about the groups of atoms in this case. And these are some of the examples. And then we say that the anions are the negatively charged atoms or group of atoms 
but we are dealing with the negatively charged atoms and includes these ones here among the first 20 elements. So these are ions of some of the non-metals among the first 20 elements. And then ions generally are what we call charged atom or group of atoms. And we have seen them generally here, but then we have come specifically to the atoms of elements among the first 20 elements. And these are the cations and these are the anions. I believe that we shall not forget this. So in our next session, we are going to see how the cations are formed and then how the anions are formed. I believe that you have picked something about ions here. This is Tech Talks Education. Thank you for watching us.